message for you, sir. Message for you, sir. Welcome, everybody, to the Dupo Remo. Yes, we're doing a podcast every day for the month of February. And it, it, there used to be a reason, but I no longer remember what the reason was. Yeah. Because I think it, it was supposed to be a reward if people did something. They didn't but, do anything. No, they didn't. Crap, why did we do this? Look what I have wrought. <laughs> it's all your fault, too, you know. You know, most things are. But uh, there were two things I wanted to ask you. First, do you well, remember back in January? First, we'll say today's episode will be about the first thing. Go. <laughs> do you remember back in January, we did uh, Save the Date? Yes. By That was actually today, just a few minutes ago. Hey, spoilers. <laughs> oh, so I see, I, I don't understand the whole concept of spoilers. <laughs> it's like something was revealed that you already knew about. Spoilers. Like, <laughs> no. But remember that story. Joseph Zizia. Z- Zizia. Zizia. He wrote that story and he was inspired by, you remember, remind me. He, what was- he said he, he used to tell his mom goofy things and she was a sarcastic woman. And so she'd say, oh. Oh, well, thank you. I'll go write that in my precious moments calendar. That's darling. <laughs> precious moments. Were those the drawings or paintings where there would be like children with gigantic heads with huge, huge doll eyes that would be having tea or on a swing set and it would be you know, just like utterly cutesy bear. things yeah they're really cutesy and this is from years and years ago or is this is recently i'm sure they still make them they're probably dying off though they're they're one of those things like holly hobby for example one of those things that i remember being a much more of a big deal when we were much younger than they are now they've just kind of gone away i don't know if people would even know what holly hobby I used is. to have to wrench your holly hobby doll away from you <laughs> I remember when and you like, were in college. And the other thing is raggedy, raggedy Ann. You remember that was... And Andy, yeah. Such a much more important thing back in the day. It just went away. It's one of those uh, properties that they didn't keep up. But Barbie's still going strong. Yeah, Barbie, stronger well, have, than ever. Well, do you have any affection for that Precious Moments stuff? You know, my mom had a lot of those Precious Moments things. I think she she had the figurines. And she... Would like get one that was supposedly supposed to represent each one of us kids and had like them all lined up on the piano. And the piano crumbled into itself. It, it collapsed under the weight because of the many children she had. Yeah. See, I thought you were going to say, you know, she, she spent money on these precious moments figurines. And so you children had nothing to eat. <laughs> nah, my mom was very frugal with her money. I never really, I don't know, the, the the look of them doesn't appeal to me, or I guess is the right way to say it. It's just not something that I think is cute. It's just kind of, A, they were all really girly. Well, they weren't intended for boys, right? Yeah, but even the boy figures looked like girls wearing boys' clothes, really. And then the girls would have dresses on, but the boys might as well. I mean, they were short-haired, but that was really the difference. <laughs> the funny thing is when me and my wife got married, we, you know, we, my wife's parents and my parents aren't rich. We didn't have a fancy, really nice wedding. And <laughs> part of the decorations for our wedding reception in Canada, my wife's mom drew a bunch of precious moments, pictures, and then stuck them up on the wall. I guess they were precious moments, wedding pictures or whatever, where the cutesy little boy and girl are getting married. Well, see, I don't understand. And you should have scads of affection for these things then. <laughs> no. Because your mom liked them, we your mother-in-law, your we wedding. We looked at them and we're just like, why would she choose to put some precious moments on the wall? It's one of those things I think they just appeal to an old crowd than me or my wife and i'm assuming an older crowd than you are a part of too unless maybe i don't know you haven't said do you have affection for these things oh hell no (laughs) i had no uh exposure to these things at all growing up it wasn't until i got to college and you'd go over to like the girls dorms wait what did they call non-dorms what did they call apart apartments was there a word what do you call a student housing that girls are in besides nunnery? Ah, I like <laughs> I that. I don't know. Might as well have been for the action I got there. 
<laughs> but you'd go over or I would go over there and these girls would have these ridiculously cutesy decorations and paintings. And I think that's, that was my first exposure to Precious Moments. Do you have little, little kids that are living here? It's like, no, we're all college students. We're all teenagers. Why do you have baby things then? I just didn't understand. But then worse, they'd have, and I, I don't remember what the artist was. It might have been Ann Geddes. But they'd have all of these photographs or paintings or prints or murals or posters. Say more words. Yes, please. Of naked kids giving each other back rubs in <laughs> wash basins, on swings, sex swings, uh, water beds, things like that. Oh, my. And they would always be naked. And I would be, okay, I, I think it's fair to say horrified by these things. And I would look around and I saw it again and again. And I would comment on it and they'd say, oh, no, 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 you're the asshole. <laughs> And I'd say, but if you came over to our apartment and there was a picture of a naked kid on the wall, you would march right for the police. I mean, immediately. Just, it, it, it always surprised me that things were completely innocuous for them because I, I, I think I remember one of our roommates having a picture of Pamela Anderson, not naked, but just, you know, like in... A bikini, a or, bikini something. or something like that. And he was branded a pervert for finding a, a female attractive. But there was supposed to be something innocent about all these naked kids. Uh, I, I don't know. That's what I thought of when he was talking about precious moments in his author's note. And yeah, so I, I have nothing but loathing for that <laughs> stuff and, and all the cutesy stuff. But, it, it be, you know, I didn't get to lay all of these girls like you did. So... I don't have the nostalgia for going over there and and having, discussing precious moments. Say, hey, I had this one too. And she's like, oh, you do me. You want to go back into? Yeah, yeah it, it just, really worked. It was handy. Where were you in? Co oh, I remember. I was having sex in high school. You were while you were reading the Lord of the Rings. I so. wish you had been there to say, put that book down. What do you need a book for? You're four years old. <laughs> Here we are, face to face, a couple of silver spoons. Okay, let me see. Open so that's bag. our uh, little mini podcast for you today, Dupo Remo. Hope you enjoyed it. They didn't. See you again tomorrow. That Gets My Go is produced under a Creative Commons okay. 3.0 license. Today's show sucked more than usual. Not more than usual.